congratulations on your admit thank you so much ma'am so you are heading out to columbia yes ma'am columbia university great 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 so which program did you apply for uh at columbia i applied for masters of science in electronics and electrical engineering so tell me a little bit about your uh, you know academics like which degree have you done which college have you done it from okay so i'm uh, i'm doing my bachelor's of technology in electronics and communication engineering from manipal university jaipur uh, i started my degree in 2018 and i will complete my degree by this fall like 2022 Great, great. So, at what point did you decide to do your masters abroad? Uh, I always, uh, I wanted to go for my undergraduate abroad as well, but I didn't because of some other personal issues. So that's why I planned on going for my masters abroad. Right. And when you decided, when you made up your mind, you know, to do your masters abroad, so uh, where did you find Jambori? Did you come to Jambori directly, or you no? Know, how did you find us? Oh, uh, my mom's friend works at Jambori, so she, she told me about the, all the counseling and stuff. So that's how I got to know about Jambori. Right. And uh, when did you start your, uh, you know, GRE coaching? Did you take GRE classes with Jambori? Yeah, I took GRE and IELTS both from Jambore only. I started them in I guess uh, February or March. I guess I I don't remember particular date, but in that those months only. And what were uh, what was your GRE score and what was your IELTS score? In GRE, I scored three ten, one sixty in quants, one fifty in uh, verbal, and four four point in AWA. In IELTS, I scored a total band score of eight. In listening, I got nine. Uh, in reading, eight point five. Writing, I got seven. And speaking, seven point five. That's a good score. <laughs> yeah. No. So, so, what was your experience of the GRE classes at uh, Jambore? I believe due to COVID, it uh, it came out to be really handy because I couldn't go out the house and I had to prepare for my GRE as well. And having an online class was easy. Uh, affordable also to to some extent, but uh, very reliable and friendly because I could ask any doubts to the teacher, and I was at my home only in my comfort zone, so it was not very problematic and it was very easy. So it was nice. And once your classes got over, so then you probably went on to do your uh, you know practice on the portal, right? Yeah, I used to practice on the portal. Uh, the portal also was very helpful because they uh, they had many mock tests and they were updating the mock test also uh, regarding like uh, on the basis of the newest model that was updated by the US uh, by the GRE portal only. And um, when you finally took your GRE exam, so uh, okay, what is the comparison level between the content that you did on the Jambori portal and the type of questions that you got in your actual exam? The questions were similar, but the mock tests on Jambori were pretty hard than the actual paper. So it was like it was it made me confident in the uh, actual exam that okay, I have done harder paper than this and I scored well. So I will obviously score very well in this paper also. Right, right. So um, during your GRE preparation, so in addition to the Jambori resources, did you use anything else? Uh, no. For GRE, I didn't. I only used the help from uh, Jambori. But for IELTS, I went on Udemy for the IELTS course of four weeks. Right, right. All right. Okay. So when did you decide to uh, continue with Jambori for your applications? Also, was it after your GRE exam or before? Uh, it was before my GRE exam because uh, once I got to know about all the procedure that's required for the admission and the amount of research and the amount of <laughs> and the amount of effort it takes for the application, I knew that I cannot do it alone because 
I'm my I'm I was in my undergraduates and I had to do my exams, projects, and everything or else. So I knew it. I would need somebody's help, and I was recommended Jambore because I heard that it is very nice and everything. So that's why I enrolled with Jambore. Great, great. And um, tell me a little bit now about your journey with your admissions counselor, writer. So what was your journey with them? Uh, I was assigned a different. Um, Counselor in the beginning and a different writer, but they uh, but it was changed after some time uh, due to some reasons. But once I got Nidhi Ma'am and Kamal Ma'am for my write up, it was really nice. Nidhi Ma'am is quite approachable, and so is Kamal Ma'am. But the uh, best thing about Kamal Ma'am was she was very quick in with her responses, and she used to not have any problem with editing the write up more than three or four times. So she was very friendly in that manner. and her essays were really good and the level of uh, i would say the grammatics that she used and the creativity that she used was much better so um at any point of time you know so did you did you feel uh, you know that probably you know you will not be able to get into a top 10 college at any point um I never really thought about it because I was uh, having a positive thought about this that I would get in a good school and not letting negative thoughts enter my mind. So not really. I never thought about that. Okay, okay. So um, now that you have completed your journey, you know, right from your GRE coaching to your uh, applications, you know, so um, you know what would be you know the some of the advice that you would like to give to other students who are about to embark upon a similar journey. well i would suggest them to start uh, shortlist their universities very carefully because that's one of the main steps and i also took a lot of time in that so take your time for that because you will be going to one of those universities so you should know everything from their culture social activities academics professor financial health and you should talk to seniors on linkedin before applying to that school so that you know the in and outs of it other than that i would suggest to not worry much about their your academics you should worry about your overall profile so if you have to that pick, is the two things i think that would matter most so if you have according to you what are the or what were the top uh, two three features of your profile um features i i think my extracurriculars and my gpa and my ielts score these three are the best features of my profile because i had a very good ielts score uh, then i believe that i have enough extracurricular activity because i took many responsibilities in my college uh, many leadership roles also for three consecutive years and i used to be i was involved in every fest and activities in the college so that is a really really plus point that shows that i'm not only a nerdy person i also am a person with the social as well as the academic knowledge other than that i it is also like i have a gp of 8.8 out of 10 so that shows that i am also good with academics also right right and the fact that you were able to uh, manage both juggle both extracurricular activities mm-hmm. and i think that is a big plus you know yeah that that is true okay so um, what are the top Three, four things that you liked about your experience with Jamboree, the whole entire journey. Um, I the top three. Okay, that is a tough one. Uh, I would suggest or, or first, as many as you want to. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the top one would be like um, the approachability of the my counselor and my writer. They both were very. easily available even on sundays also they kamal ma'am used to reply on sunday also so that is one thing i really like because mostly people don't like to work on sundays but she knew that i am going for my masters abroad and i'm worried that my application would be submitted on time or not so she used to reply very early so i like that about her a lot uh, my writer was very good at jambore i was very happy about that other than that would be um, the the sop and lors because uh, SOP and LORs are very important for my application, and I didn't know how to write one. So Kamal Ma'am uh, helped me. We used to have sessions on calls so that we could decide 
what or the brainstorming sessions i would say that how would we write about things like they used to tell me a question then i had to answer that and i used to be i used to be stuck in the middle that i don't know how to answer it so she used to help me out like you can she used to suggest me like eva you can write this or this so that's how i she helped me a lot other than that i would feel that jambore as a whole has been very helpful for my journey and i would be stuck in the middle if i didn't take the counseling that's really nice of you thanks for your kind words and um, we wish you the very best of luck with your masters columbia is an awesome school i hope you enjoy your uh, masters journey as well thank you so much ma'am nice talking to you eva thanks for taking out time to speak to us